interstellar object whirling through our solar system is actually a nuclear-powered spacecraft sent by aliens to test how humans respond. Something is coming. In the silent darkness beyond Neptune, our solar system has been invaded. Not by a single object, but by seven of them all at once. This isn't science fiction. This is the reality astronomers are scrambling to understand right now. These mysterious comets are unlike anything ever recorded. They are dark, unusually large, and are maneuvering as if under intelligent control. While the world remains unaware, a small group of scientists is looking at data from the James Webb Telescope that suggests these seven visitors might not be visitors at all, but scouts. A knock at the door. In the cold, quiet expanse of space, our solar system has always seemed like a lonely island. We watch for stray rocks, for the occasional wandering comet from our own cosmic backyard, the Oort Cloud. But what just happened is something else entirely. It began not with a bang, but with a tiny, persistent blip on a computer screen at the PanStars Observatory in Hawaii. An automated program designed to hunt for asteroids flagged not one, not two, but seven distinct objects appearing in the same observation window. This in itself was strange, but what followed turned that strangeness into genuine alarm. All seven were moving at incredible speeds, far too fast to have come from within our solar system. They were interstellar visitors. Truth be told, we've had visitors before. The world was fascinated by Oumuamua in 2017, a bizarre cigar-shaped object that tumbled through our system. Then came 3i Atlas, another oddball that puzzled scientists with its strange glow and trajectory. But those were single events, cosmic curiosities. This was different. Seven objects arriving at the same time from the same point in the sky is statistically impossible. The odds are so infinitesimally small, it's like seven strangers from seven different countries all knocking on your door at the exact same second by pure chance. It just doesn't happen. As the data poured in, the situation became even more disturbing. These objects were on hyperbolic trajectories, meaning they were visitors from the stars destined to swing around our sun and head back into the void. But their paths were almost identical, like cars following each other on a highway. They were spaced apart with an unnerving regularity. You see, the Oort cloud, the giant shell of icy bodies surrounding our solar system, is supposed to be a chaotic mess. Objects get kicked out of it randomly, in every direction over millions of years. A coordinated group ejection like this has never been predicted, never been modeled, and frankly, it shouldn't be possible under the known laws of physics. It's like watching seven raindrops fall from a clear blue sky. Within hours, a quiet panic set in. The discovery was shared across a secure network connecting major observatories. The James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope were urgently reoriented to get a closer look. What were these things? Were they fragments of a larger object that broke apart? That was the first, most logical theory. But as the initial spectroscopic data came back, that theory was shattered. They weren't fragments. Each object was a complete, distinct comet with its own coma and developing tail. And the thing nobody could explain was their composition. They were all weirdly similar, not just to each other, but to the spectral signature of 3i slash Atlas. It was as if someone had taken that original mysterious visitor and simply made six more copies. Scientists were looking at something that broke the rules of celestial mechanics, and they had just arrived on our doorstep. The initial shock is now giving way to a deep sense of dread. The Visitors Unveiled – Data That Defies Belief with the world's most powerful eyes now fixed on the seven mysterious intruders, scientists were hoping for clarity. Instead, they got a puzzle so profound it has shaken the foundations of astronomy. The first detailed images from the James Webb Space Telescope were supposed to tell us about their size, shape, and what they were made of. What they revealed was so bizarre that the initial reports were thought to be instrument errors. We think of comets as dirty snowballs, lumps of ice, rock, and dust that glow as they get closer to the sun. The first thing Webb noticed was that these objects were dark, unnaturally dark. They were absorbing over 99% of the light that hit them, making them darker than charcoal. This property, known as low albedo, is rare, but to find seven objects with the exact same extreme darkness was unheard of. But that was just the beginning. The thing that really sent a chill down everyone's spine was the composition of their tails. A comet's tail is its signature, 
a beautiful plume of gas and dust boiled off its surface by the sun's heat. When Webb's spectrographs analyzed the light from these seven tails, they found all the usual suspects. Water, carbon dioxide, ammonia. But there was something else. Faint but unmistakable signatures of heavy, complex, noble gases like xenon and krypton in ratios that have never been seen in a natural cosmic object. To put it mildly, finding these elements in a comet's tail is like finding a jet engine in an ancient Roman chariot. They simply don't belong. Noble gases are incredibly stable and require immense energy to be trapped in ice, suggesting these comets formed in an environment completely alien to our understanding. Then came the data from Hubble. While Webb excels at seeing in infrared, Hubble's view in visible light provided a different kind of shock. As the comets got closer, their comas, the fuzzy envelopes of gas around their solid cores began to pulse. Not randomly, but with a steady rhythmic cadence, all seven of them pulsing in near-perfect unison every 8.2 hours. A comet's coma is supposed to glow steadily. A pulse suggests something is regulating the release of gas from the surface, like a valve opening and closing. The idea of a natural process causing this on seven different bodies simultaneously is, to put it bluntly, ridiculous. It's a coordinated, synchronized signal broadcast across millions of miles of empty space. What many overlooked in the initial chaos was this detail, a detail that points away from nature and towards something artificial. The evidence was now piling up into a mountain of impossibility. Seven unnaturally dark objects made of impossible chemistry pulsing with a synchronized beat as they invade our solar system. The comparison to 3i slash Atlas was no longer just a curiosity, it was a terrifying clue. 3i slash Atlas also had a strange glow, a behavior that couldn't be fully explained by natural outgassing. Was it a test run? Was that lone visitor a scout? And is this the main event? The disturbing data from Webb and Hubble has taken away any comfortable natural explanation. Scientists are now faced with the chilling reality that these seven comets are not what they seem, and their destination is becoming horrifyingly clear. A path with a purpose. For weeks, astronomers tracked the seven mysterious visitors, feeding every scrap of data into the world's most powerful supercomputers. They were trying to predict their paths to understand where these objects were going. The assumption was that they were on a simple hyperbolic path, a wide sweeping curve that would take them around the sun and fling them back out into deep space. Every interstellar object we've ever seen has done this, but these seven comets were once again about to break all the rules. The latest trajectory models, confirmed just days ago by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, have revealed a truth so shocking it has been classified at the highest levels. The comets are not leaving. They are slowing down. This is the detail that changes everything. An object traveling at interstellar speeds can't just slow down on its own. It's a fundamental violation of the conservation of momentum. To slow down, you have to fire a rocket engine in the opposite direction. You have to have propulsion. And that's exactly what these objects appear to be doing. Faint, almost undetectable plumes of ionized gas, different from their main tails, have been spotted behind each comet. It's a form of incredibly advanced low-thrust propulsion, something far beyond our own technology. They are actively braking as they enter our solar system. But the most terrifying part isn't that they are slowing down, it's why. The new orbital projections show they are not aiming for the sun. They are aiming for specific points in space. To be precise, they are maneuvering to enter stable, predictable orbits. One is adjusting its course for a Lagrange point near Jupiter. Another is targeting a wide circular orbit between Saturn and Uranus. A third is positioning itself in the asteroid belt. The other four are doing the same, each claiming a different strategic piece of celestial real estate. They are not flying through our solar system. They are parking in it. They are spreading out and setting up observation posts on a system-wide scale. What many are now realizing is that this isn't an invasion in the way we imagine it. It's a quiet, meticulous occupation. The coordinated arrival, the impossible chemistry, the synchronized pulsing, and now the powered deliberate orbital insertions, it all points to a single inescapable conclusion. This is the work of a vast and patient intelligence. This isn't a random cluster of comets, it's a deployment. 
the objects are acting like a network of advanced, self-propelled probes disguised as comets to mask their arrival. This revelation transforms the mystery from a scientific curiosity into a potential global security crisis. Who sent them? What are they watching and what happens next now that they are in position? The silence from official channels is deafening because no one has the answers. We are no longer alone and the proof is now orbiting our planets. A quiet cover-up. So here we are. All the data, every last bit of it, points to the same unthinkable conclusion. Seven advanced and self-propelled objects of unknown origin are taking up permanent residence in our solar system. The question that should be on everyone's mind is, why isn't this the biggest news story in human history? Why aren't world leaders on television confirming this monumental discovery? The hard truth is, how could they? An announcement like this wouldn't just cause a bit of excitement, it would trigger a global system destabilizing panic that could unravel civilization itself. Think about it for a second. The stock markets built on predictable futures would evaporate in minutes. Currencies would become worthless. What value does a dollar have when a technology that can cross the stars is now a reality? Religions which have placed humanity at the center of a divine plan for millennia would be thrown into an existential crisis. The very foundations of our society built on the comforting idea that we are the sole intelligence in this corner of the cosmos would crumble overnight. The thing is, this isn't a movie. There's no script for telling seven billion people that a superior intelligence has just moved into the neighborhood without so much as a hello and is now parking its hardware in our backyard. What many overlook is that this wasn't a single shocking event. It's a process, a slow motion discovery that has been unfolding for years and we've been explaining it away every step of the path. Remember Oumuamua, the bizarre tumbling object that was so strange scientists had to invent a new theory of it being a nitrogen iceberg from a shattered dwarf planet just to make it make sense. We accepted it. Then came 3i slash Atlas, another oddball that defied easy explanation. We were told its strange glow was just unusual outgassing. We accepted that too. Each event was a small tear in the fabric of our reality, but we patched it up with a convenient explanation because the alternative was too terrifying to consider. These seven objects are different. They are a massive coordinated rip in that fabric, too big to be patched, too obvious to be ignored. This is why the silence from official channels is so deafening. Maybe it isn't a cover-up in the way we usually think of it. Maybe it's a desperate attempt by a handful of overwhelmed scientists and world leaders to understand what they are dealing with before they tell the world. Imagine the conversations happening in those secret rooms. What do you say to the public? We've detected seven objects that defy physics sent by an intelligence we can't comprehend. They are ignoring all our attempts at communication and we have absolutely no idea what they want. That's not a press release, that's a recipe for global chaos. So we, the public, are left to piece the story together from whispers and leaked reports. We are watching a paradigm shift happen in real time, right before our eyes. This isn't a prophecy of doom, but it is a wake-up call of unimaginable proportions. It's a call to take the search for our cosmic neighbors seriously, to point every instrument we have at these seven new residents, and to maybe start thinking about what it means to live in a larger, more crowded universe. The sobering truth is this. Whether these seven objects are natural wonders that rewrite physics or artificial marvels that rewrite our place in the universe, they prove that things can arrive in our solar system that we do not understand. Like and subscribe for more updates on this unfolding story. What do you think they are doing? Are they harmless observers? Or is this the quiet beginning of something much, much bigger?